This video is going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch first generation, your iPhone 3G, and jailbreak and unlock the original iPhone on firmware version 2.2.1. So first, open iTunes, make sure your iPhone or iPod is connected, then simply click update to update it to the newest version. If 2.2.1 is not the current firmware, then click shift on restore and select the 2.2.1 firmware version that you downloaded. This will not unlock your iPhone 3G. It will just jailbreak it. If you want to keep your iPhone 3G jailbroken and unlocked, then stay on firmware 2.2. Now it will restore your iPhone. Now iTunes has successfully updated the iPhone to version 2.2.1. As you can see, it firmware 2.2.1. Now exit iTunes. Then you're going to have to download three files, the iPhone or iPod Touch or iPhone 3G 2.2.1 firmware file. That link will be in the video description. You also need to download QuickPone that works with firmware 2.2.1. And for the iPhone, you're going to need to download the bootloaders. And that will also be in the video description too. So now, open QuickPone. Now it should automatically detect the firmware. If it doesn't, then you'll have to click Browse and select it yourself. Now, you have a choice to add Cydia and add installer, replace boot logos, and unlock your phone. So you want to select unlock phone if you want to unlock your iPhone. Now you're going to browse for the bootloader. Now make sure your iPhone is connected. Now wait for your iPhone to boot into recovery mode. Hold down the home button for 5 seconds. Hold down the home and power. Now I'll continue to hold home. Now it's jailbreaking your iPhone.
Now it will reboot your iPhone and boot neuter will come up. And now it will unlock your iPhone. Now it's rebooting. Now, as you can see, Cydia and Installer are there. I'm going to turn the iPhone off. Then you can put your SIM card in. I'm using T-Mobile. And reboot. Now, as you can see, it says T-Mobile there, and your iPhone is now unlocked 2.2.1.